Okay, so I'm going to do a tour of this 2060 Super. This is an 8 gigabyte 2060 Super. Um, it's, yeah, I had to put new fans on it because let's face it, I uh, don't think the manufacturer covers fans. As you can see, we have the seized one and we have the good one. I mean, like, I mean, the damn, boom. It's, I don't know how to explain that better. Like this is seized and it was making a noise from minute one, the tick, 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 tick. It didn't like that too much. So now we got a small fan, big fan, 120 mil, whatever that is, 130, 140, who cares? Okay, so that's just the tip of the iceberg. Um, I am most certainly not. Oh, that sticker ain't coming off, man. Oh, it's making some springy noises. They don't like that. It's making some snappy noises. Okay, so now I gotta take my fans off. So that's one, two, three screws. And then I have to cut the zip tie here. So I guess now I need two tools. So now we got the fans off. And we're just, you're gonna have to pull really gently. And this will come off. And then we're gonna replace these pads. And we're gonna replace this uh, paste with uh, something better. We also have to be very careful not to put too much. <laughs> Dude, none of it is where it needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle. <laughs> it's bare. <laughs> no wonder this is the hot card. And then look at this, it ripped. Oh. Okay, so the GPU, nice and clean. Now we're gonna get the thermal pads off. And like, just to show you how fresh this is, it's like a gentle peel. Okay, this is like a card that's just barely over a year old. And this, the pads are good, but the paste was not good. Paste was all crusty. So, got rid of it, and we're getting rid of these pads for good measure. They're actually really thick. Wow, and like, check this out. This is like for all of this area. This whole thing gonna get K5'd. Like crazy, liberal, liberal amounts. Okay, so now it's super clean. You can see your uh, reflection in it all the way across. And uh, same thing with up here. You wanna see your reflection in everything, especially the dye. Now I'm gonna put the K5, and the last thing I do is gonna put the uh, very, very, very little copper paste there. Okay, so this has been K5'd. And now to put the smallest drop of this stuff on there. This is the beautiful, beautiful copper stuff. If you want to find out what it's made out of, here you go. Boom. Got 7% copper in there. And 5% uh, graphite. <clears throat> and it's in like a solution of like oil or whatever. Yeah, this stuff looks like it's made in outer space so and it's gonna match this thing i'm gonna use this little scooper to do it a little doop in the middle it's gonna be too much so that's looking like 
Actually, it looks like a bit too much copper paste. Oh, I'm going to try it. Screw it for the test fit. I only screw the four screws on the back down to see. And then if it's good, then I'm going to put it back together. Do the all six, no problem. So definitely had enough K5. Don't have enough copper. Gonna have just just a molecule more. And it's gonna be a little impression. Perfect. Perfect. It's gonna rock and roll. It's gonna rock and roll. Let's do this. And just to get up close, see? Nothing leaked out. Nothing touching the capacitors. Awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it. Rock on, man. Well, the card I'll put back together, and now I gotta wait till the new year to try it and post the results. Ciao for now.